Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Jackie's Crafty Time. I had just started this video really fast. I don't even have anything ready, but that's okay. As you can see, I'm going to be working in 310 hell right now, so I don't need to focus that much. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday weekend, and I just kicked the camera thing. I am going to get try and get a video recorded. Um, so I have, like I said, I'm in 310 hell. And then it goes to confetti hell. Okay, so the rainbow cover minder is from Lori at um, All That Sparkles on Facebook. The unicorn one is a glow in the dark cover minder from Amy over at Sensible by Design. And it, she has an Etsy shop and a Facebook group, which I'll have linked down below in the description box. Okay, I think that's everything I need to cover for this particular moment. Um, where are my pens? Never mind. So, I don't know if I showed you guys this, probably not, but this is the 60 bottle case that came with the wrong bottles. I've now turned it into my pen storage. Can you guys see all of them there? So for this painting, I think I'm going to use my rainbow one because it's for rainbow. And I have to reload it, but I also really love this one. So I'm going to load up these two because I like to have like two or three pens. Um, sometimes I like the smaller ones versus the thicker ones. Did I just load this pen? Looks like I did. Let me see if I can pick them up. I didn't think I used this one. Um, recently. Maybe I did. All right, I can pick them up. So we'll just keep going with this. Um, I was going to like checkerboard this whole thing. Well, I am. I'm checkerboard multi-placing because right now you can see all the gaps. Um, and I've learned that you cannot focus on the light pad, what it looks like with the light pad on or what it looks like um, when you're sitting so close to it. You're gonna see my head probably for a minute there. Okay. Alrighty. As I said, I hope you're all having a good holiday weekend. I am recording this on Saturday, July 3rd. I'm not sure when it will go up. I have a bunch of unboxing videos I wanna get up. And I still have a whip and chat from June 27th. I was trying to think of the date of the other one because I just put up the June 21st one not that long ago. So um, as you can see, I haven't even sectioned this canvas off. I was super excited to start it. I had started a smaller one from Amazon, um, a welcome sign, and it was square. And I decided that I didn't like doing it up here for some reason. I don't know. So this is the first time that I have two diamond paintings on the go. And the other one's going to be for if I want to do um, a diamond painting while I'm in bed. Because it's small and it can fit on my lap over uh, my lap desk that I used to color on. It's just a smaller one. So that's what that one's going to be for now. Okay, I have to decide how far down I'm going to go because if... <laughs> You guys know me, I like to have I like to have a line that goes straight across so I know where I'm at. Uh, maybe I'll go down to right here. Or should I go all the way down? I don't know. Uh, my husband has my daughter outside right now. We bought a bubble. We just came back from Walmart, um, which I really don't like going to the store. I, you know what? It's double worse like I work in a grocery store so I don't want to go to the grocery store like I just I don't know it irks me so but I had to go to Walmart I had to get the baby diapers and I used the rascal ones that are sold at Walmart so technically yes I have to go to Walmart because that's where they're at so we went to Walmart and I cannot find the chicken wings that they have. 
or they used to have in any like not in my grocery store not at walmart not at the other grocery store in my town like i don't know what's going on so we ended up just coming home and the baby had chicken and we had poutines tonight um, because it is canada day weekend so why not and we bought a bubble machine, a bubble blower thing. Um, my dog, who is a little chunky, but she's super lovable, uh, she loves bubbles. Like, she'll chase bubbles all day long. She doesn't care if she's out of breath, if she's pain. If you're blowing bubbles, she will try and get them. So as soon as my husband turned it on, Lily, who's our dog, was like going nuts. And I was like, okay, she's got to come inside. Like, she's literally going to have a heart attack chasing all of these bubbles because it's like the tornado bubble machine, right? Like it goes up and shoots up like 5,000 bubbles. So hopefully she's resting now. But my daughter loved it. She was laughing and running in the bubble shower. And so I snuck away to come record this video. Uh, my neighbor's doing fireworks tonight, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, you know what? I am more of a, um, organized fireworks show person. Like when they have them down by the water, um, where I live, we have them on the water. I'm, I'm good with that. Like do it by the water that I can go home. The backyard fireworks, I don't know. They're not overly my thing. But I guess... They're having, they let us know, which is nice to let us know, but I mean, I can't say, hey, maybe don't. Like, like he's letting me know I'm doing it. So, right? Like, what am I going to do? I don't know. My daughter sleeps pretty good through it, hopefully. Although she didn't sleep at all last night. So, yeah, so that was today. Um, yesterday, I did nothing really. Like, we. I'm on vacation from work, <clears throat> so I, we haven't been doing really anything crazy. We were going to work on the backyard, but the dirt place is closed. Um, so we can't get dirt to fill in the other side of the yard that needs it till the week. And I have to go down to the Service Canada place and get my health card and my daughter's health card because they're both expired during COVID. And oh, I really don't want to. Like, I just want to do that stuff online. I despise going to government buildings. I just, I just don't want to. Like, and I know, I know I have to. I know it's like an adult, like, hey, be an adult and just do it. They will, but I just really, really, really don't want to. <laughs> I would love for it to just come in the mail and just be like, here you go. Or like the old, well, I'm going to show my age now because now I'm old because nobody has the red and white health cards um, in Canada anymore. But the old red and white health cards never expired. Like that was it. That was your health card. That's your number. That's it. Like you now, because you have a picture on your health card, um, they expire. So you have to go get a new one. And the kids, they used to send in the mail until they're 16 I think that's when they stop sending them uh, because then they start getting pictures if I'm correct because my son's expires in 2024 I think oh my god yeah and he's gonna be 16 oh. my babies my baby's growing up I don't like it I, I don't I'm not a fan of the growing up thing and there was this thing I seen on Facebook it was like a not a meme but like a picture of like this woman and she was holding like a little baby like a little baby boy um and then like it shows him in like toddler and then like his first day of school and then like at the bottom it's like you've prepared for him for everything but nobody prepared you for him growing up and it shows him like going off to college and then getting married and I'm like oh my god yeah, that was a very emotional day for me. I remember, like, showing it to my husband, and I was, like, crying. My husband's like, what? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> I was like, but my boy, like, ugh. I'm really, I am not ready. I'm not ready for 
like in September, he's going to be in grade eight. And then after grade eight, like high school? No, no, no. How did that happen? I'm not ready for it at all. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, but that, that picture perfectly summarized everything for me. I was like, it's entirely true. Nobody, nobody, like, because you're so worried when they're so little that you're just like, okay, I got to, you know, I got to teach them this. I got to, they got to know how to do this for life. They got to know how to do this in their life. Like, you're so concerned about getting them ready for life that you don't think about, at least I didn't think about the bigger milestones that were coming up where I was like, oh my God, like I've prepared him and he's a good kid and he has a great heart and... But I didn't think about, like, college or high school or... And he told me he wants to go to the University of Waterloo, which, awesome. I'm so happy he's, like, ex ins inspiring, aspiring to, you know, do something like that. That's amazing. Good job. But here's my thing. I don't live in Waterloo. Um, I think it's four hours, five hours away from me. I have to ask my husband. My son has always said he wants to do, um, well, when he was little, he wanted to be a vet, but then he said he would get too sad if he had to hurt and like put animals to sleep. So he said he didn't think he could do that. So um, then he always, like math is his favorite, math and science are his favorite subjects in school. So then he switched and said he wanted to do um, something with math. And I was just like, okay, bud, you know, whatever you want, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know. And then he's always, he's always kind of been stuck on being a scientist. And then he joined robotics in grade six. Um, and he loved it. Like he fell in love with the robotics team. They went to Waterloo. Actually, they went to the University of Waterloo, which is probably what made like such the big impression on him um, for a big competition. And... They built this little robot. They had a tiny house that they built. It was, yeah, it was really, really awesome. And it made a really big impression on him. Um, so he's kind of been stuck on science and robotics stuff. Something I think, I'm thinking he's, he's not knowing that it's engineering, but I think that's what he would excel at. But I don't want to push him and be like, hey, this is what you need to do. You know what I mean? I want to kind of guide him, but also let him find it himself. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not ready for any of it anyways, but he went to Waterloo and then he came home and told me how awesome the campus was. And, you know, they have all this ro robot stuff there. And then ever since then, he told me, he's like, you know, when I, when I go to university, I want to go to Waterloo. And I'm just like, Oh, are you sure you just don't want to stay home with me forever? <laughs> no, I know that's not, that's not right, right? I mean, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I think he will be okay. I may not be okay, but he will. Like I said, he's a really good kid. He's really smart. Um, yeah, I don't even have to change the putty in this pen. I don't think I even said, uh, the pen is from Diamond Pens on Facebook. I will also have that group linked down below. And the canvas I'm working on is the Rainbow Dragon, Rainbow Little Dragon Z. I always want to say Little Dragon Z, but that's not it. Uh, from Diamond Art Club. Oh, sorry guys. I thought I was going to sneeze and I had my head turned away and like went dead silent. I did not. Sorry about the sniffle there. Um, so the reason you're seeing this canvas, I should explain that as well, because I'm not that I have a million followers, but maybe some of you noticed that I'm not working on my Beatles one. I do not have the AB gems for the Beatles one in yet. Um, I have a few coming from China and then I have the others coming from Lori. Um, whatever I couldn't find from Lori, I sourced... Um, from AliExpress So we'll see when they get here what they look like. Hopefully they're okay. If not, I will just use Lori's and 
that'll be all the sparkle it needs, right? It's going to be rainbow. Um, so I'm doing this one because it has rainbows all over it. Rainbow here. Rainbow cover minder. Um, for the hashtag fun never ends DP that Rachel Ray and Miss Coffee are doing. Uh, the diamond paint along. So I am super excited to finally join it because my other one was just yellows and browns and beiges and ugh, not enough colors for me. It turned out gorgeous. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, which my Instagram, I'll link, I'll try and link it down below. I should be able to. Uh, my Instagram is Jackie's Crafty Time. I have pictures of it finished. I am trying to, uh, trying to keep up on my Instagram more now as like, I don't know how to, not, there's a little nub on this one. Oh, they're together, that's why. Garbaggio, get out of here. Okay. It's like, why is that together like that? It won't stick. That would be why. I'm trying to post more is the word I'm looking for on Instagram. Um, cause it's a great source for social media. And if I do want to grow my channel, which I do one day, um, I will have to be more present on social media and such. As for now, like you guys know, with the two year old, it's just not possible for me to be as present as I would like to be or to have, um, a regular kind of recording schedule. I started this out with a regular recording schedule because my daughter was taking naps. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Every day, 12 o'clock, I'm in here. I can record at least for 30 to an hour and then she'd be back up, but not anymore. That is all done. She's given up naps and she's given up sleeping at night. So that's where we're at right now in life. Loving it so much. Oh my goodness. If you hear any noise, no, it's just me hearing a noise. I was gonna say my husband and daughter must have just came in, but maybe they just let the dog in because I just heard uh, the door. Or he might've came in and got her water. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm working on this one now. And I'm going to try and get this done because my husband, um, I go away in August. So there'll be a week in August where there won't be any videos, um, unless I pre-record some and have them scheduled to pop up. But other than that, there won't be any videos. Um, I go away in August and we're planning on switching the kids' rooms because my daughter right now, we have a three bedroom house and she's in the back room which was our game room because in all honesty we did not know we were gonna have a little munchkin um so <laughs> it was a split second okay we're gonna throw this together turn it into a nursery and you know what i said as we were doing it we should have taken the time and switched the rooms there's something there that's really agitating me um and it was, my husband was like, no, 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 it's going to be fine. It's gonna... No, it's not going to be fine because I'm the one who's up all night with her. I'm the one that has to walk all the way to the back of the house. No. And it's not even like I don't live in a mansion. Don't get me wrong. It's not a far walk. But <laughs> it's just like when you're sleepy and you have to like navigate, it's, it's a bit much. But the problem is she's going to be out of her crib very soon. Like she, she could probably be out of it now. But the minute I hear her move, I'm back there because I'm terrified of her um, either jumping out of her crib or falling out of her crib. Like, I don't, I'm so paranoid about it. So she's going to be moving to a big girl bed and I would rather her be closer to, to us um, for that transition. And my son had said that, you know, it would be cool to go back there because he's going to be 13 and he's like, yeah, like it'd be more private and I get it. He's a boy. He's going to be a teenager. Teenagers are gross. He wants to be 
have his privacy and play his games all night. I don't know what he does. Look at all the 310. Oh god, I need some color. <laughs> I'm already over the 310 health. This one turns out so good though. But yeah, so this is going to be going in my daughter's room. Um, and I'm actually going to try, I've never looked on the website, but if you watch Stitcherista on YouTube, she uses a website, I think it's called pictureframes.com and you can get frames like the exact size so I think I'm gonna try looking on there because I'd like to get like a cool frame like maybe like a white frame or even like if they had like a rainbow theme or something that'd be awesome so we'll see what they have um, when it comes time I'm way ahead of myself I've literally like look I'm in the top corner of this painting I am by no means going to be ready to frame this um, did anybody take advantage of the um, Diamond Art Club sale that was going on? The buy four, get one free? I did not. Oh, sorry. I'm just checking the time. I'm going to pause you guys for one sec. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go and grab something in the kitchen. It was a beverage. So, <laughs> now you guys need to know so itchy I get like really dry like um I don't know if it's from the air conditioner but the inside of my nose gets like super super dry and irritated I hate it I think it's also summer I just don't like summer <laughs> I just want to go back to cold cool weather can we do that please please um okay Sorry, I had something pop up on my computer. I was like, what are you, what are you turning on for? Stop it. Oh, Amy put up new putties today. Oh, don't go look if you're watching this later than today. Um, <laughs> it is July 3rd, like I said. Um, Get a kit. I keep flagging all of the um, review your purchase ones because I just don't, I don't have time to do them right this second. So uh, yeah, I'm not, mm -mm. <laughs> I, I will do it later. I always, I'm just like, uh-huh, I'll do it later. Your parcel will be delivered. When was that? Oh, that's last month. Oh, geez. Okay, I was like, FedEx is coming today. So it said the third, and I was like, why is there a FedEx coming? My last pre-order has shipped, though. So that's exciting, because that one has my Mandy Manzano I Miss You painting on it. And I want to do that one um, in September for my friend that I lost in September. So I think that'll be really nice once it's all done and together. I was looking to see if there was, I thought I had flagged a, um, oops, I keep hitting the camera, like really stop. <sighs> like, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Summer's in full swing. I really am drawn towards um, Mandy's work. I think it's the stained glass. But you know what? I don't like the one that came out this weekend because I think um, I think that the uh, what am I trying to say? I think the princess ones like that stained glass and I didn't even get the only one I got was something sweet um, from Mandy Manzano and I got love at its darkest because I love Nightmare Before Christmas it's one of my favorite movies to watch at Christmas and Halloween because I think it's it's both uh, so I got those and I really 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 wanted the corpse bride one 
I think it was called Here Comes the Bride, and I missed it. So it's, uh, I think that's what I fell in love with. And I keep waiting because they were like, another Mandy's coming out. Like, it's going to be another Mazzano coming. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Who's it going to be? And then it, it was the hands holding the rose. And it was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But I was just like, oh. <laughs> And part of me knows that it's probably not going to be a princess anymore because I think they had to take down the princesses. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was a licensing thing. So I I just, I really wanted some of those princess ones. And I joined Diamond Art Club way too late to even get on the bandwagon of that. That's like, there's some, there's two. I can't remember. I think it's Andre was the artist's first name. There's two um, two paintings that I will never, ever have. Oh, sorry. I was looking at something and I see now the corner of my eye. Uh, because they're discontinued. But my favorite Switch game, like, of all time ever so far, pretty much. I love Zelda. I love the games. Breath of the Wild has been my top game like, I love that game. So, when I seen... One was called Dangerous Roads. And the other one was Enchanted Forest. Absolutely beautiful. Fell in love. I was like, yes. I need it. You got me. I'm going to DAC. I'm getting it. Went to DAC. Nope. Sorry. Discontinued. I was like, what? Like, no way. And I emailed them. And they were like, oh, we're really sorry. That's a discontinued painting. It won't come back. Blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I was like, really? Like, it's, I need it. I need it in my life. Because at the time, I did not have my daughter. And the game room is still the game room. So I was going to have, like, a diamond painting game themed wall that took a lot for my brain. Oh, my God, to put together. Come on, brain. Um, so... I obviously did not get it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been looking on the D stash groups um, for it. I've never been able to find one of them. It's just, it's, they're impossible. People, like, I think they're beautiful. They're, they're really long. Like, they're like the Mandy Manzano princess ones, kind of. Um, but they're, like, wide. Not lengthwise. They're, they're like a panoramic view of the landscape and it reminds me instantly of Breath of the Wild and I was like okay I need these maybe I'll email the customer service again and just be like hey just checking if you're still going to keep those discontinued or not like because I'm sure it's something to do with their agreement with the artists like maybe they can only use it for a year or two and then the licensing is up I'm not sure how it works I'm not sure um, yeah, I know nothing about it. I know that I just really want it and I know I missed out on it. Okay, I'm going to fill in this T. It's going to bug me there. Also, this is all rolled up, so... And I have to write... I'm going to start writing the start date on here. Um, so let's talk about what else is going on. Oh, 939 is the T. That's hilarious. It's like pretty much another 310. I was hoping it was going to be like some kind of sparkly something or other. No, just 310 again. Slightly blue 310. Um, I also decided um, recently that, you know what, I really miss reading. Uh, before, I had my daughter. And I know it sounds like I'm saying like before I had her, but, but I really, I don't have time. Like I never realized how much time... I had when I had just my son and it's because my son is 12 right so he's out of he's out of the toddler stage he's out of that but I used to read books like just sit on the front porch and read all the time and I've lost that and I really miss it so I um I wear socks as you can see I actually went and got these when I paused because I was like oh my god I don't have my socks on so I wear the socks that um, I see Miss Coffee wearing, and they have one out. It's called Mission Accomplished, and it's a black band with white X's, 
And the point is you make goals for yourself and then you cross off an X when you finish the goal. And I think there's, I want to say 20, 20 X's on it maybe. So you know what? I was, I bought myself one. It's not here yet, obviously. And I might get another one. Um, one for like actual goals and I might get one for books because I think that'd be super cool to any book that I finish like actually read because I had audible and I was doing that for a while when I was rocking my daughter I would put um, a wireless headphone in and I would listen to the book but I miss just sitting and reading so I think I'm gonna do that and it may take me forever right now because you know I haven't read in a while I'm not the world's fastest reader, but I get the book done. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be fun. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated on it when it gets here. And I think I just use Sharpies to color it in. I have to ask in the Facebook group for sure what everybody's using, but I'm pretty sure there's just, it's either fabric Sharpies or something like that. I don't like all this 310. But look how much I've got done with you guys. Like, all of this is all filled in. That's awesome. It is not straight by any means, but when I turn off the light pad and I'm... What do they say? You view a painting at three feet away, you will not see any of that. It will just all look gorgeous. And this is a square painting, so the squares will push themselves to where they're supposed to be by the end of it. Okay. I'm gonna do one more here. Um, yeah, so those are my goals. I know it's not like goal time. I'm gonna try and read more because my mom bought me the Elton John book. Uh, was that for my birthday this year? No, I think it was two birthdays ago. Because I read the first couple chapters and then I just had a baby and yeah, that was it. And I have books here that I've had, like I've bought you know how like you go to the book, like a book sale, um, like a, yeah, like a book sale. Why am I trying to change the word of that? That's what it is. And they have books that are like, oh, this table is all a dollar. There's some books that are like 25 cents. Like, I yeah, yes, please. I'll take them all. Like, yes. They, one time the baseball club in the town I used to grow up was having their like last book sale ever. They'd have it in the, the, uh. The batting box or batting house whatever it was called at the baseball diamond and the last day they were like fill a bag fill a bag of as many books as you can and the bag is like i think i swear to god i think it was only like two bucks a bag they just needed to get they had so many books and then my husband's like you you're buying books like more books why do you and i was like i, I just need them like <laughs> I can't read anything scary though because like I get scared easy and then I'll be up all night with like I'm terrified and I'll have to wake up my husband to make sure nobody's in the house to kill me no lie I've done that before I've I've woken him up and I'm like hun he's like what I'm like hun get up like I I hear footsteps get up and he's like what like you're crazy like no and I'm like no seriously like can you just go check that is not a square what is that that is just a piece of trash. That's what that is. In my trash bucket. Um, yeah, I'm like, there's, no, there's foot. I'm like, seriously, there's footsteps. Like, you need to go check. And then he'll come back and I'll be like, okay, like, crazy lady, there's no footsteps. There's nobody in the house. There's nobody that wants to kill you. Like, just go back to bed. And I'm like, are you, are you sure? Like, did you check? Did you check the laundry room? Because for whatever reason, I assume there's going to be a killer in the laundry room. I don't know. We, it's just, it's where they would go. I have no idea. Why wouldn't they just come to my room? I, that's how my brain works late at night. I don't know why. But yeah, so I tend to avoid like um, those type of books. But like uh, Black Dagger Brotherhood books. Oh my God, I love those books. Those are so good. And I haven't finished that series, but that author, J.R. Ward, I love her writing. Um, she has another series, I believe it's called The Bourbon Kings, which I really would like to read that. I think I have the first couple in that series too that I'm going to try and get into. But I think I'm going to let you guys go here. I wanted to come on, give you a quick update, let you know what's going on. 
Um, I have some unboxing videos that will be going up on the channel that you'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small whip and chat and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.